he would be. I know he's under contract, and you know, but a lot of guys are under contract and they let, let go. So if it's going to be Darcy, uh, he may look at, at keeping Ronnie Ralston there. Uh, I guess we, we will see down the stretch, but there's always candidates available, and uh, I think that that first decision will be whether Darcy Regeer is going to be the guy making those changes. Once we know that, then we'll have a better idea what to, where, which way they'll go coaching-wise. Okay, next one comes from Hani Jartman, who too and says, yeah, good uh, luck with that one. With the way <laughs> the LA Kings are playing of late, do you think they can repeat? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And I think they're a team that is really positioned to have a shot to repeat. It's not going to be easy. We haven't seen a repeat champion in the National Hockey League since 1997-98 when the Red Wings did it. Uh, it is not easy, so... Uh, I, I, but I, when you look at their team, I mean, if Jonathan Quick gets his game going again, it looks like Daryl Sutter's been more willing to play Jonathan Bernier this year, too, and he's been really good when called upon. They've still got that number one defenseman in Drew Doughty, the number one center on Jean Jay Kopitar. They're really slotted well. This is a strong group. Not going to be easy. I may not pick them, but I can tell you this. They have as good a chance to repeat as anyone has in the last bunch of years. L.A. Kings trying to bounce back after the loss 5-2 on Tuesday against the Phoenix, Phoenix Coyotes. Yep. It's the Kings and the Sharks tonight. For more on the matchup, here's Barry Melrose. Hey, everyone. It's time for Melrose matchup. Let's go out west, and I've got the L.A. Kings, San Jose Sharks. Neither one of these teams are where they wanted to be at the start of the year. They both underachieved, but I think they're both starting to play their best hockey of the year. L.A.'s starting to get goals from Carter. They're getting better goaltending out of Jonathan Quick. Dowdy's playing better on defense. San Jose, after that hot start, has sort of been lukewarm, up and down, treading water, but they too are starting to play a lot better style of hockey. Both of them now are fighting for a playoff spot near the bottom of the division instead of the top, but certainly with the games left, that could change. All right, so our thanks to Barry Melrose, and tonight, Thank Kings you, and the San Jose Sharks. First meeting of the season. Yeah, I guess so. Well, they'll be seeing a lot of each other now uh, down the stretch as we uh, head into the, the really the second half of things, but... I, I like the way the LA Kings are playing, and I don't like the way the San Jose Sharks are playing. Not scoring enough goals, and that's a big problem for Anti Niemi has been a great story. He has played really well, but they're not supporting him well enough offensively. Who knows what's going on behind the scenes there? Ryan Klo, his contract is up. Is he going to be traded? Are they going to keep him? I mean, there's other guys that are worrying about that same kind of issue there. They moved Brent, Burn, Brent Burns up to forwards. That's another thing they're trying to do there to create more offense. So, uh, for me, I like the LA Kings. Much more stable group right now than San Jose. Daryl Sutter said they'll ask him. They were just tired. Yeah. I agree Phoenix with was fresh. It was a great said. spot for the Coyotes at home after the Kings had played back to back games, so uh, I agree with Daryl wholeheartedly. So that's a 10-30 face-off, the Kings and the Sharks. Here's what's going on tonight on NHL Network. As soon as we wrap up here at 7 o'clock, you've got the Washington Capitals and the Carolina Hurricanes. Really a must-win for the Caps. 10 o'clock, NHL tonight. And there's the scene. P.